Now, let's talk about measures of variation. Variation is a way to show how data is dispersed or spread out. So if the data is compressed like this, meaning it has a lower dispersion, if the data is scattered, meaning it has a higher dispersion. One of the most common measure of variation is the range. The range is the difference between the maximum and the minimum data entries in the set. To find the range, the data must be quantitative. So the formula for the range, that is the maximum data entry minus the minimum data entry. So let's have this example number one. A corporation hired 10 graduates. The starting salaries for each graduate are shown. Now find the range of the starting salaries of the corporation. So the salaries are this in thousands of dollars. Now the first thing that we need to do is to arrange this in order. So I arrange this in ascending order. Now, the formula for the range is the maximum data entry minus the minimum data entry. The maximum data entry here is 47 and the minimum data entry here is 37. So that is 47 minus 37. The range is 10, meaning the range of the salaries is $10,000. Next measure of variation is the variance. So we have two formulas for the variance, one for the population and the other one for the sample. Another measure of variation is the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So let us find the variance in the standard deviation of sample number one. So a corporation hired, then graduates. Now, the starting salaries for each graduate are shown. So starting salaries for the for corporation in thousands of dollars are this. Now the population here is 10. So the first column that is the salary, that is our X. The formula of variance for population is this. So we need the mean. So the formula for the mean again, that is the summation of X over the total number of population. So we need to add this. So the total when we add this is 415. So that is 415, that is a summation of the salary of the X divided by the total number of populations. We have 10, so over 10. Now the population mean is equal to 41.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract this from the salary or from the X. So that is 41 minus 41.5 is this. Next, 38 minus 41.5 is this. Okay, do the same up to the last data entry. That is 42 minus 41.5 is 0 0.5. Now, we need to square the deviation. So meaning, or negative 0.5 times negative 0.5, that is 0.25. Negative 3.5 squared is 12.25. Negative 2.5 squared is this. So do the same after the last data entry, okay? So that is 0.5 times 0.5 is 0.25. So what we need is the summation of the squared of the deviation. So we're going to add this. So adding this, the total is 88.5. So that is now 88.5 divided by 10. So 88.5 divided by 10, the variance of the example number one is 8.85. Now let's find the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So we're just going to get the square root of 8.85. Now the standard deviation of example number one is 2.97. So let's have another example. The ages in years of a random sample of shoppers at a clothing outlet are the following. So random sample, so meaning the formula that we're going to use here is the formula for samples. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to, again, write this, okay, in the table. So the first column, that is the ages. So these are our X or the data. Then we have the deviation, that is X minus the X bar. This is the sample mean. Then square of the deviation. So let's have it here. So this is the formula of the variance for samples. Now we need the sample mean. So the sample mean that is equal to the summation of X over the total number of samples. So we need to add this. So adding this, that is 
166. Now, so this is 166 over the total number or the number of samples, that is 10. 166 over 10 is equal to 16.6. So this is our sample mean. So again, do the same. 16 minus 16.6, that is equal to negative 0 0.6. 18 minus 16.6, that is 1.4. So this is the x minus that to the mean. Do that up to the last entry. Okay. So 16 minus 16.6, that is negative 0 0.6. Next, we need to square the deviation. Negative 0.6 times negative 0.6 or negative 0.6 squared, that is 0.36. 1.4 times 1.4 or 1.4 squared is 1.96. Do the same up to the last data. Okay, that is negative 0.6 times negative 0.6 or negative 0.6 squared is 0 0.36. So what we need in the formula is the summation of the squared of the deviation. So add this. So adding this, this is equal to 18.4. So that's 18.4 over the n minus 1. The n is 10 minus 1. So that is 18.4 divided by 9. So the variance for this is 2.04. Now to find the standard deviation, just get the square root of the variance. So just, just get the square root of 2.04 and the square root of 2.04 is 1.43. Okay, thank you.